Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be reviewing tips for the removal and replacement of the positive crankcase ventilation valve on this 2022 Honda Civic with the 1.5 liter engine. If you find my tips to be helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment. Now let's get started. Positive crankcase ventilation valve is located in the center of your screen at the tip of my pointer. If you look down here carefully, you'll see the back of the valve, that yellow piece right there, okay? Some of the symptoms associated with a faulty valve include rough idle, increased fuel consumption, excessive suction on the oil cap, colored exhaust, which is also an indicator that the valve is stuck in the open position, pressure buildup, an oil leak, which indicates that the valve is stuck in the closed position. That's why I call this part the silent engine killer, because if it's stuck in the closed position, you'll see oil leaks beneath the vehicle and you'll wonder what's going on. Is my valve cover leaking? Where's all this oil coming from? And it'll all relate right back to this positive crankcase ventilation valve. And I can't count how many times that it took for me to finally figure out that the positive crankcase ventilation valve is probably the cause of upwards of 80% of the leaks that you see beneath vehicles. Okay, especially newer vehicles. What does this part do? A PCV valve is a one-way valve that routes harmful crankcase gases back into the combustion chamber to be burned as part of the air fuel mixture. Some of the trouble codes associated with a faulty valve include P1505, P0171, P0174. Our supply list includes a positive crankcase ventilation valve, a 10 millimeter socket, a ratchet and extension, and mass airflow sensor spray. Please see other items in the description below. So it's kind of hard to see, but I'll zoom in for you guys. So I'm just coming right back here. This is the valve cover. So just beneath the valve cover on the back side of the engine, you'll see there is a 10 millimeter bolt that holds on a yellow item. And that yellow item is, I'm gonna call that the head of the positive crankcase ventilation valve. I've already loosened it up for demonstration purposes. It's a pretty sturdy bolt. So hold on to it tight, you don't want to lose it. There you go. So once you have that bolt off, rotate it up, and then you're gonna just put your finger behind it and push it out, okay? And there you have it. There is your positive crankcase ventilation valve. These either work or they don't. And like the description said, it's a one-way check valve, but these do get stuck in the open position and they get stuck in the closed position. One thing that you can do is you could, can you hear that clicking? It's hard to tell with these plastic valves, but if you can hear the clicking, that's pretty much telling you that it's working or it's working good enough. If it's not clicking before you replace it, I'm going to show you a very quick way to clean it so that you can maybe prolong the life of the valve. So now we've got a sink here and I've got my mass airflow sensor spray. You can also use my carbon choke cleaner. The only difference is these O-rings are pretty hard to get off and sometimes they can even be brittle. And if you use gum out, carb cleaner this has a solvent in it okay a very harsh solvent and it will degrade the o-rings so you can use it but you should take off the o-rings before you clean it and when you take off the o-rings you're taking a chance of breaking them so 
I don't do that anymore. So I'm gonna say don't do that. And so let's use the mass airflow sensor spray. And it's a lot less harsh on rubberized parts. It dries quickly. And so let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how you could clean it out. So shake the can and you're just gonna lightly go over it. Okay, so now I'm gonna cover up these two holes, right? And then I'm gonna spray all, all the holes in the bottom. You might even wanna wear some, some glasses, okay? And I'm, watch, I'm gonna get right up on there, just like that, okay? Then I'm gonna shake it. And I'm gonna repeat. Now all of these holes are interconnected. So now I'm back on the top holes, side, bottom. Shaking it again. One last spray. I'm gonna shake really hard. Now, I'm gonna let you listen to the rattle and you decide for yourself if this is a lot cleaner. I say that's about 50% cleaner than what it was when I first demonstrated the rattle. And so, this is not bringing it back to new condition. Only thing I'm saying is by going through this cleaning process, you could probably get another six months out of this valve before you have to replace it. Sooner or later, you will have to replace it. So let's work our way back to the vehicle. Let's go ahead and reinstall the positive crankcase ventilation valve. So I'm just gonna go in from the back. Look for the opening. Push it in. Now this time that little yellow tab is in the up position, okay? That's gonna help me push it in. And you see it locked in. Now I'm gonna rotate that tab towards the driver's side of the vehicle and over the hole. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of feel it and make sure it's centered. All right, so now I'm gonna pick up my screw. I'm being very careful about this because if you drop this screw, it's gonna double the time for the job. Okay, screw is hand tight. Now I'm gonna come back here, put maybe three or four pounds of pressure on this screw, and that's about it. It does need to be tight. Because remember, there's a lot of pressure on this screw, and it's a slightly sturdier screw. Here you go. Okay, well, that wraps up the removal and replacement of the positive crankcase ventilation valve on this 2022 Honda Civic with the 1.5 liter engine. I hope you found my tips to be helpful. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, drive defensively.